Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. If you are a, a new viewer, a special hello to you and I hope you click the subscribe button and become a regular. Um, as you can already see by the title, title I'm reviewing a set of Monster Barrels, uh, the Cobra, Yellow Class and Darts. Um, these are 22 gram, it says 22 gram on the box but there may only be 20 grams when I weigh them because that's kind of how Monster Barrels do it. And they're a nine percent tungsten, and I actually bought these in January, and I got them from Mano Starts using the Darts Nuts members forum discount. And um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but the current price is around forty-eight pound, and using the discount now, it would get me them for around forty-five, and um, delivered. But I've not even opened them yet. Still got the seal on, on both sides, um. It's typical of me that though, I've got darts from about three or four years ago that I've not even opened. They're just stuck in a drawer somewhere but that's because I'm a bit nutty like that. But uh, I found a set of darts the other day amongst a load of rubbish. <laughs> I almost could have thrown them out. They were a set of Cosmo Darren Young darts and they've still got the cellophane wrapper on and I bought them about two years ago I think. Um, crazy I know. but. I know you've all been eagerly waiting for this review for the other class and that and um, I'm sorry for taking so long so let's get on with it. So the darts come in a square plastic box like the Monster Anastasia darts and like I said I've not even opened these yet. Um, just going to get this screw to try and pierce that so I can get it open. There we go. Inside you've got a plastic tray holding my darts and this is the very first time that I've actually got my eyes on them. This is the first set of monster dart barrels that I've ever bought but uh, the Anastasia were the first ones that I actually held and reviewed and let's see if I can get one of the barrels out. I'm not taking the uh, stems out because last time on the Monster Anastasia Darts one went flying. It took me a while to find it. And that is a very nice looking barrel. So you got that, and oh, even the flights are in quite hard. So you got your three Monster Nylon stems and the Monster Barrels Yellow Class and Cobra Flights in standard shape. So the darts are fitted with a silver point and I don't really know how you can describe the shape of these. Uh, kind of almost like a bullet shape but maybe torpedo shape as well but it's got a very uh, unique design all of its own really and it's kind of got a long tapered nose but there's like a little bit of a scallop bit there and then this bit here with these kind of weird shaped notches in it goes into a big like kind of a groove there actually doesn't feel too bad holding it there I'm not really sure how these darts going to work for me with me being a front gripper but um, it's a very strange looking design and then you've got a kind of a, a rounded off uh, shark grip there well even that actually feels quite comfortable I'm um, not quite sure how yellow class and grips it but my guess is he probably is around about there and it's got a lot of like ledges and grooves on this barrel a little bit of thin cut ring grip there but it uh, looks a great looking dart though for sure even if um, I knew the darts wouldn't suit me I'd probably still have bought them anyway because I like the look of them and I usually buy darts for that reason as well don't always buy them just because I think they're going to suit me, but that's because I'm a nutty collector. But uh, I think if you like a short barrel dart, whether or not you're a middle or rear gripper, 
it looks to me as if it might be quite a nice dart but uh, whether it will work with my full grip we'll have to find out soon and then you've got your monster stems and these uh, nice looking uh, yellow class and cobra fights very nice design on that but anyway I'll let you look at the barrel for a bit one's going to be quite complicated the point is 27 millimeters long and then a smooth section of a tapered, tapered nose of six millimeters and then a kind of a scallop which is 6.2 millimeters wide and then a, a smooth section again but with deep notches in that's 3.5 millimeters and then a kind of a small scallop of three millimeters then a small ring of 1.2 millimeters and then you've got a flat section of about 3.8 millimeters and then a kind of a, a slope and a ring of 2.3 millimeters and then some kind of rounded sharp grip of three millimeters then a smooth section of three millimeters and then another small scallop of 2.8 then some thin rings and grooves of 2.6 and then a smooth section of 4.6 the length is 42 millimeters and the widest part is 7.4 millimeters That is 20.42 grams and that is 20.43 grams and that one is 20.42 and the full setup is 22.12 grams. Due to the shape it's a little bit awkward to get the balance but it's just front of centre and with the supplied setup it's just slightly behind centre. This is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights. Yeah, can't throw it off. 
from there. Too weird for me. to that that I'm not so sure about for me but uh, I've kind of found a little way to grip it so I'm kind of like in there with my index finger on that little ridge and it seemed to fly a lot smoother from there but I don't know probably gonna have to play with it a lot longer because it's a strange dart like I said the shape is a little bit strange but it does fly very smooth even when I was trying it in the grips that don't normally suit me, it was still flying very smooth. I've got a little bit of spin there, but most of the dance were going through the air really smooth and although they went on course, there was no fish tail in there or anything like that and hardly any spin at all from the other grips. So if you are a natural middle or rear gripper, it could be a nice one for you. But I do suspect middle grippers and rear grippers will probably like it a lot. If you like that kind of sharp bullet uh, style but like I said it's got a slightly strange um, grip pattern so it's one of them darts that you're just going to have to try and see whether you like it but also um, it's not really the way that I would normally throw but um, I'm probably going to give them a, a little bit more time just to see how I get on with them and I'll report back on the forum review but I think middle and rear grippers are probably the ones that are going to like them the best. Um, but like I say, I found a little bit of a way to throw them from my front grip. So I'm just going to practice with them more and see what happens. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.